Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com. I'm here to show you a couple things with assignment number three. And this one deals with absolute coordinates, relative coordinates, and polar coordinates. And just a quick review of how AutoCAD measures angles. Zero degrees is always out to your right or to the east. And then we measure counterclockwise with an increasing number going from 0 to 90 to 180 and to 270 degrees. You can also go clockwise but in a negative fashion so 270 is the same as negative 90 degrees and by the same token 180 degrees will always be the same but 90 degrees if you're going clockwise would be negative 270 degrees so it's positive and negative and negative is clockwise and you always need to review these so without further ado we'll continue drawing the assignment starting with an absolute point of one comma one that's one up in the x and one over in the y and then going over to another absolute point of four point one comma one and up to the third absolute point of 4.5 comma 2.2 next we go into relative coordinates of 2.3 in the x direction 0 in the y and now we have to figure out an angle so it's 150 degrees but that's based off of the 180 degree line shown right here and I come back 150 degrees so that leaves me with a difference of 30 degrees start if I was to start at the zero angle. So I enter in at 1.4 angle 30 and continue on going up 2.1 in the positive y axis. Now for the next angle I can start at the line I'm already at which is at 270 degrees and go around clockwise to 150 so if I take 270 minus 150 I'm going to be left with 120 degrees based off my zero angle so I'll enter that in at 1.6 at 120 degrees and press enter and go to my next point which is 1.3 in the negative x axis and then next line is negative 1.4 in the y-axis so going straight down and now I'm looking at another line if I look at where my point is right now, now I'm actually at 90 degrees and I want to add another 45 degrees so it's going to be 135 degrees so I enter at 2.2 with an angle of 135 and then 1 over in the negative at X axis. And just finishing out the design, I'm at 45, which is added to 180, and that gives me the line of at 1.5 at 135, which takes me to one of the last points I'm drawing, which is negative 1 in the X axis and now I've got an angle based off of 0, negative 60 degrees for 2.3 unit line long and the last segment we can just ignore the 120 degrees and we can just close the line back to our original starting point so there you have it, a lot of uh, good practice on entering coordinates in AutoCAD thanks for watching, bye